Hi everyone, it is November 26, 2017. I want to thank my subscriber for sending along a video to me last night. I watched it, I was horrified, I went to the channel and watched more. So on this channel, I don't know uh, which video was sent to me, but thank you for introducing me to investigating YouTube. I watched several videos. YouTube Kids, YouTube Kids, this, uh, you know, and it wasn't really on my radar, I don't know, you know, YouTube Kids, dive into a world of discovery, learning, and fun. Well, there's a whole category of videos on YouTube Kids that are truly sick, disgusting, uh, so depraved, it is, well, we all know the agenda to to really eradicate morality from the American people and make them a depraved people. And when you see what YouTube Kids has for kids, these videos, uh, let's, I don't want to get a copyright strike investigating YouTube. I am uh, promoting your channel. And yes, your, uh, I agree with Judith Reisman when she says that your analysis was right spot on um, in this video you have replacing early cognitive development with conditioning. Uh, listening to you, one would think that you have a degree in, in uh, child development, but one doesn't need a degree. One just has to do the research and, and um, Jesus. And then post a video and talk about how important it is that children do not see images of sex and violence and images that are terrifying and horrifying, even for an adult. Now, you tell me. This is the top 10 worst Spider-Man clips featuring Elsa and the Joker. So on YouTube Kids, there is this channel that is posting videos about Elsa and Joker, the Joker and Spider-Man. You see that it's targeted for children, but you watch the videos and you, uh, well, if you're anything like me, you will be horrified. This is what YouTube allows on YouTube for children. For children. Um, it, look, the buck stops with the parent. Doesn't matter what our society has become. The buck stops with the parent. It is the parents' responsibility to supervise what their children are watching. But I will say, parents today have quite the job. Decades ago, when I was growing up, <laughs> you would never see anything, anything like this. So the change has been deliberate to demoralize Americans, to leave them so twisted and sick that they don't even know what morality is. I am really I'm going to tell you about my neighbor's five-year-old son He saying to her, to his grandmother, while she was babysitting him, when you're at sleep, when you go, when you go to sleep, I'm going to kill you. Are you kidding me? This is for children. Okay, um, I'm going to let you listen just to a few minutes of Dr. Judith Reisman, and I'm not going to play the entire video. I don't want a copyright strike investigating YouTube. 
I am promoting your channel and promoting your brilliant analysis of what is taking place here. So let me just um, get you up to speed. In the beginning, uh, Dr. Judith Reisman, you can read about her. Interesting that Wikipedia claims that she's a conservative author and she posts her, her commentary in conservative World Net Daily. She is uh, best known for her work on Kinsey. Kinsey. But Wikipedia has chosen to uh, leave it as Reisman just criticizing and condemning Alfred Kinsey and the legacy of his work. Well, if you do some research on the Kinsey uh, report or whatever it's called, Alfred Kinsey, 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 Kinsey. Wow. Um, if you know that he in fact did employ and rely on pedophiles for his research, then when you read Wikipedia, it should beg questions in your mind. Why is it being written this way? Over the following years, her, Reisman's accusations against Kinsey, became increasingly serious. She said that he was a fraud who had employed and relied on pedophiles for his research, and she went on to claim that Kinsey himself sexually abused children. Well, if you do the research, you will find out that that is actually true. Actually true, but Wikipedia has to present it as she's a crazy nut job making all of these claims. Well, we understand what they are doing here, the social engineering of the American people. Um, and, you know, to even say that she's an American conservative author and she uh, posts her commentary in conservative World Net Daily, it is that divide and conquer. It is that dichotomy, dichotomy that they always set up red, blue, Republican, Democrat, conservative, liberal leftist, rightist, alt-right, alt-left, Jesus, can we, can we just go beyond a little bit of that? No, because the American people are so easily manipulated and they can't, you know, they read conservative, they read criticism of Alfred Kinsey, and I'm talking about the, the, uh, the liberal leftists, they won't even go any further to do any kind of research on Kinsey to find out what Dr. Reisman is saying is actually true. They'll get stopped right there because these are the trigger words. Conservative. Criticism. Condemnation for the, uh, the legacy of Kinsey's work. He held, held on a pedestal. This guy was so sick. It's beyond comprehension. Um, let's listen just to a few minutes of Dr. Judith Reisman. Dr. Reisman has an extensive and impressive background, a lifetime of research and passionate work against pornographers and the pseudoscience of Alfred Kinsey and the Kinsey Institute. She's authored several best-selling publications, including Sexual Sabotage in 2010, and is frequently cited by dozens of world-renowned publications. Dr. Reisman is also considered an expert witness on court cases involving pornography and media issues relating to culturalized sexualization and fetishism. Needless to say, she is certainly also an expert on the subjects we are investigating, and it's an honor to have her give us a testimonial regarding the subject at hand. Without further delay, we now present an investigating YouTube exclusive, Dr. Judith Reisman. first question is, after looking at um, the top 10 YouTube videos for investigating YouTube, what are your initial reactions? Um, massively deviant and uh, sick and angry 
people are creating these videos, people who hate children, and indeed pedophilia, uh, people who are uh, involved themselves or who um, are partial to uh, abuse of children, both physical and sexual. That is clear through all these materials. There is no other alternative explanation for the kinds of things that are on these videos. So how did we get to the, to the point in our society where these kinds of things would even be in the realm of possibility that someone would, would think to create them? Okay, I'm going to uh, let Judith Reisman answer that on Investigating YouTube, their channel. I will link below. I don't want to get a copyright and I don't want to take away views from uh, investigating YouTube. It only has 8,432 views. Well, when you watch some of these videos on investigating YouTube's channel, you will see that these people uh, who are uh, the channel owners of um, four kids, you know, the uh, Elsa, the Joker, the Spider-Man on YouTube kids, that category, they have well, 9 million subscribers, I think. They get 12 million views. <laughs> they promote this for children. And our channels are taken off YouTube. We get community guideline strikes for just having playlists. We get community guideline strikes uh, for... Uh, simply presenting research that we have done or talking about current events. Well, you all know it. Uh, it. All of this is deliberate to bring about a very, very sick, sick. It, it, it's not even amoral. We are talking about a depraved, a depraved world. And that's what they're going for. So, the five-year-old, a neighbor, uh, this five-year-old out of the blue said to his grandmother, I'm going to kill you when you're sleeping. I found out that he was watching this video game. And I did research. This was about a month ago. And I did research on that video game, but I cannot remember the name of that video game. game but I was horrified to see how incredibly violent it was. And the age recommendation was 10 and up, and it should not be out there for 10-year-olds. But adults are playing these games. You want to talk about the infantilization of the American people. You watch these videos uh, with these gamers. And these kids, these, the, well, here, it's an adult male, right? They may as well be five years old. Hello, neighbor. All right, so I found out that this five-year-old is actually also watching Hello Neighbor. And how did I find out? Because the grandmother and the five-year-old, when I was outside, came over, and I was holding a piece of paper, and that five-year-old came over and ripped it out of my hands and got right in my face. The kid at five years old was so unbelievably screwed up. But the kid was talking about Hello Neighbor. And I kept saying, what's Hello Neighbor? Hello, hello neighbor. I'm kind of speaking uh, quietly because I don't want any neighbor to hear me. But there he is talking about Hello Neighbor. And I asked, what is it? And he said, it's a video game. I said, it's a video game that you play? And he said, yeah, I love it. I said, what is it about? And he couldn't really, you know, formulate the words to tell me. So I did the research on Hello Neighbor, a stealth horror game with advanced AI. It also is uh, recommended for, I believe, 10 and up, not a five-year-old. So the bottom line is the buck stops with the parents. If you have, uh, and it's tragic, yeah, I see this all the time, you know, other neighbors are not too fond of the five-year-old, so what do they do? They are <laughs> treating the five-year-old as if they're bad, a bad seed. 
It's the influence of the adults in the five-year-old's life. The mother. Yes, I did bring to the attention that he should not be watching these games. But this is the world that we're living in. We have an awful lot of parents who are clearly sick themselves and give their kids these games to play with because, what, they don't want to be bothered with their own child? Sorry, I have a real hard time with this. A real hard time. Five years old, and that child is already screwed up, set on a trajectory to become yet another screwed up adult. We'll never, ever manifest a healthy society this way. So, all the links are below. I hope that you get this information out to um, to those, you know, circulate it, get it out to parents. Tell them that they have got to check out what is on YouTube Kids. And tell them that they have got to supervise what their children are watching. Ciao, guys.